That's a nice brown. God, he ate the dry so well. Hey everyone, or I should probably say hola because I'm here in Northern Spain. Um, just finished up fishing at the World Fly Fishing Championships in Astorius. Um, I fly out tomorrow, but on the way back down to Madrid to fly out, I've come to Leon here um, to have a fish. You can still fish tailwaters here. So um, below some dams and uh, yeah, gonna try and have a fish. Water's super low. Uh, the rivers here have been amazing. They're really challenging, but I'm gonna have a fish up here and show you kind of what it's been like for me in Spain. Um, maybe you've seen some of the stuff on Instagram. It's a really cool, unique fishery, but really challenging. And it teaches you a lot, which is super cool. So I'm gonna fish up hit some water like up under the bank there, find a little bit of depth and some cover. Um, and then I think there's a run up the top there and uh, we'll see what happens. But hopefully um, I can show you a few fish here from Northern Spain because the brown trout are amazing. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so <clears throat> dry fly wise, I'm gonna be throwing um, like very small, essentially like CDC split wing mayfly, very cream, maybe some caddis. Um, and maybe some ants as well under the bushes. Uh, we'll see how that goes for a start, 16 and 18. And then nymphing, I'm gonna go just some very light nymphs, 2.3 millimeter bead, uh, copper, silver, maybe gold, um, on a range of different patterns. And I'll probably dry fly fish up through stuff and then throw some nymphs in after. Um, I have no idea what it'll be like because I've never been, I haven't fished any of the rivers around Leon here. So this is all new to me, but hopefully we find a few fish. Here with this flat water so just get ready to fish up through this stuff you just got to get in so slowly because that water is so clear so flat and the fish are very very spooky hopefully they're a little easier to catch in some of the uh the running stuff but we'll fish through this for a start that'll give us a good feel for what it's like and then uh then we can push on Throw a couple just through that main depression there with the single dry and then I'll go in with the nymph afterwards. I'm just fishing a nymph and a dry on this here. Got him. Well, that looked like the area where that one before rose. Little nymph eater. Thank you, buddy. He's a small guy, but that's my first fish around Leon. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Okay, interesting. Let's see how we go through here. It's amazing we found that here 
in Spain that like you sometimes you just cannot seem to get a uh, like some fish like you can see them and try to sight fish to them but they just won't eat it dry you have to sight fish with very light line a single nymph or um, single nymph on a floater single nymph on a you know a conventional nymphing sorry like a modern nymphing setup Got him. He ate that very early on the drop. Another nice little modest Spanish fish. He's got a little bit of fight in, in this guy. Come on, buddy. Nicely done. Notice that these fish are a very different looking colour to the ones we've been catching up in Astorius. Very cool, thank you buddy. Well that goes to show why um, definitely having two techniques to fish in a spot is so important. We jumped in here, dry fly fished up, couldn't get one to come up blind even when we saw this one rise. Then we caught you know, two on the nymph quite quickly, so that is very very cool. But you've got to have very nice clean drifts, good contact, and actually fish a reasonable distance away from yourself. That's why I'm using an 11 foot rod. There's another one. Oh, I just missed him. There seems to be a few small ones in there. Go and eat that. Try to get that one under the trees there. Got him. Oh, had to feed that under those limbs to get that one to eat. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> that was such a cool eat. The fish aren't big so far, but they're super fun, really cool, challenging fish. Nice guy. Should be a nice one. Somewhere up through this stuff. Hopefully if I can get some of these drifts to pull across into the gap there between the weed and, and the tree there, maybe one like that. A nice one will eat it. <laughs> Definitely the key trying to get it up under into the bank there. That's a slightly better one, that's cool. So cool. <laughs> These depressions up through here, you can see there's like a couple of rocks up there that create slow pockets. So if we get our flies up there, the way it's been fishing, one should come and eat the dry or eat the nymph or there just should be one there. So it's been that kind of a a day. It looks like the right water. Just got to get the angles right. That's a better drift. Got him. You just need to get the fly to drift how you want it to to catch these fish. And when you do that, there are so many of them. And it can be like that back home as well. It's a beautiful coloured fish. It's 
see if we can get another one to eat here. Got him. Oh, that's a slightly better one. Oh, he's buried me under the weed. Come here, mate. That's a nice trout. Oh. He's in the walls a little bit, that guy. Look at him. Got him. Oh, that dry fly eat was magic. Oh, got you. <laughs> Look at that fish with the dry in his mouth. That was magic. Such skinny water. Spain is so, so cool. Amazing. Such an amazing fishery over here. Hard, but amazing. All right, this is a beautiful run. A bit of a glide here coming in. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw Nymph under dry on a conventional line, just up through here where I can't get particularly close to the fish. And then when the water gets faster up there, I'll swap to the nymphing rod and uh, make some casts and drifts and see how we go. Pretty much when you're, I'm fishing up through this stuff, I'm just trying to, you know, you can spend all day here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just trying to hit the very best depressions and get some nice long drifts covering the water. Nice uniform current here. Got him. He ate the dry beautifully. And that's all it is. It's not too complicated. It's just taking your time. Get out of the weed. Thank you, buddy. The dry has popped out. Nice little Spanish brown. Thank you, mate. Yeah, and that's all. That's all it is, it's just trying to, you know, make the best of this flat water. When I come up to that running stuff, hopefully it's a bit more obvious where the hot spots are and you can kind of just focus in on that stuff. But essentially, yeah, this stuff, just get those nice long drifts and tick through. Right. Let's keep ticking. Carry along all the river's vegetation with me.
It looks where that fish ate the dry actually looks beautiful. So it's a little bit deeper on that edge, I think. Up on that line, that cast is a little bit too straight. That's a nice brown. God, he ate the dry so well. <laughs> Calm down, I don't want you to roll up in that tippet. Settle, settle, settle. No. <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. What a beautiful slow dry fly ate too. Look at that for a stunning Leon Brown trout. All right, well, I'm in this pool. There's a couple of fish that are just randomly sipping. So I'm just gonna fish up the gap between the weeds, blind as I can. If I see one rise, I'll present the fly to them. Got you. In that way, it's pretty good. I'm just sitting in that weed clump. <laughs> Come on. Come out, I don't want to speak to the rest of your friends. Thank you, mate. That's a really good one. He was right at the lip there. He launched and ate the dry. Calm down, strong fish. That's a nice brown. Look at him. He 
beautiful trout. He launched down here right at the tail out and annihilated that dry. Isn't that wild? You can fish through this beautiful stuff and then you catch one in that tiny skinny bit there. They just love that skinny water here. Come on. That is a lovely trout. Oop, come on, mate. That was one of my favorite casts and eats of the trip. <laughs> so cool. Ah, oh, that was cool. I actually saw him rise under there and I thought, okay, I've got to wind in, sit down, get into position and yeah, so cool. It's amazing. It's a hard spot to cast, but it seems like you know, it always seems to be the case. Whenever you find a spot that's hard to get your fly in, the fish are almost more willing to eat it in there. <laughs> that was fun. So fun. Well, I'm walking back to the car now after a really cool three hours of fishing. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to edit this because there were lots and lots of fish, but they didn't have huge slices and they were pretty, you know, typical of the fish we'd catch in our small streams back home. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll just splice together some nice pieces of water and kind of show you what it's like because it is just it's beautiful essentially what happened today was nymphing at the start around lunchtime uh, nymph and dry was really good but as the afternoon has gone on they've really switched onto the dry so fishing any big heavy water hasn't been good it's been all about trying to target the water where they'll come up to eat a dry so really fun um, brown trout and skinny water on dry flies so so cool and uh, and on nymphs but yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing a snippet into uh, my time in Spain. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next video. I'll be back home soon. So thanks guys.